In this tutorial, I want to show you a little bit more about how to vary the launch conditions of your rocket and a little bit more on the flight profile. So in the last one, we had run a simple simulation with the B64 motor. Um, now we're going to change a little bit of some things. Um, first thing we want to change is the launch angle. And so up here on the simulation property screen, click on the starting state. And this is where we adjust the launch angle of the rocket. Um, you can either use this, this wheel right here to change the launch angle, or you can type in a number on your keyboard, and I'll just type in 12 degrees, and then hit the tab key to accept the value. And now we're at a launch degree of 12 degrees. And let's go ahead and launch this rocket again, and let's look at the flow pr flight profile. So, in our previous simulation, in tutorial number one, the rocket was aimed straight up. This time, it's aimed at 12 degrees. And when we click launch, we can see the trajectory of the rocket, and it goes upwards, and then comes down. And I'll just slide the time bar to the end, so you can kind of see where the rocket lands. Now, going back to our summary screen, we can compare the launches. Um, in this case, angling the launch rod actually got us a little bit higher in altitude. So that's the main thing, is you, you want to see how your altitude changes when you vary the launch angle. Let's go back there again, and this time, let's go to the starting state, and let's change it to 12 degrees negative. So I'm going here, minus 12 degrees, and hit tab, and then hit flight profile. And again, the rocket takes off arcs over, and then starts coming back down. Now this time our altitude is lower. It's 163 meters. Um, I want to show you something else right here. Um, these um, slanted lines define a cone. I call this the weathercocking cone. People always ask us, is my rocket weathercocking too far? Well, this gives us a visual indication of what is safe and what is too far. In this particular case, the rocket exited the cone, which is okay, but this time the apogee point is outside of the cone. And if the apogee point, the highest point in the rocket's flight, is outside that weathercocking cone, we know that this rocket is weathercocking too much. So we want to adjust something to keep it within that cone. And in the last two simulations, the rocket stayed in that cone at that apogee point, even though it may have drifted out of there after deployment or after apogee if the rocket was coming down. So this tells us um, a lot of information. Um, and you know, not only we got a lower altitude, but the rocket weathercocked too much because of our launch angle. So it tells you you can change your launch angle to keep it within that cone. Okay, we're going to click Cancel. And this time, we want to go back and run another simulation, but this time I want to change the weather conditions. So instead of going to the starting state, um, I'm going to go back to zero degrees straight up launch. And this time, under my Launch Conditions tab, I want to adjust the speed of the wind. Right now we have a constant speed of 8 miles an hour. So the low wind speed and the high wind speed are the same. And so that means it's a constant wind speed. So if, if I change it to 2 miles an hour for both the low speed and the high speed, we still have a constant speed, but now it's a lot lower. And let's go ahead and launch again and see what happens. Um, the rocket takes off, and it's almost going straight up that time, which is really good. Um, and then you can see it's not drifting nearly as far, and it's going to come that back down close to the pad, about 30 meters away. Um, you can also change the wind speed using some preset wind conditions. Um, these are the 
actual meteorological terms. So when the weatherman on the television says you're going to have light winds, he's actually saying that's a specific range of three to seven miles per hour. And you see that the low wind speed is, is uh, three and then the high wind speed is almost eight. So somewhere under eight miles an hour. And anyway, if we click um, launch, the rocket will launch and you can see it's 180 feet. Now if I click launch again, two times in succession, ah, actually we got the same launch time every, on this flight, which is okay. Um, but sometimes you'll click that launch button and you'll get three different values for the maximum altitude. And that's because the wind speed is varying. Roxim is varying the wind speed. Uh, oh, it's, here's why. Because I didn't. I have a constant wind turbulence. So if I change this to very turbulent and then hit launch again, we should get a different value. So this time, instead of being 180 meters, we're at 177 meters. If I click launch again, this time it's at 179 meters. Because of the wind variability, you're going to get a different altitude because the wind speed changes how high the rocket's going to fly. And that's what I want you to realize from this video. Um, so in the next video, we're going to look at that flight profile again, and we're going to change some of the parameters that you see on the screen. So until the next time, um, go ahead and experiment. Um, you're, you're not going to break anything, um, and if you think you are, um, just don't save the design um, and then just reopen it and it will come back to what it was originally.